Pinky, it's me. What do you mean, me who? Jaime and I are coming home in two weeks, you stinker, so you better watch out. I don't care how grown up you think you are, I'm still your older brother and I can still make you beg for mercy. Is mama there? Tell her I called. I would love to be home sooner too, but we have to finish this landscaping job. We're this rich guy's house. We're putting in plants and rocks and this really amazing waterfall. We're getting paid a fortune, but... Well, I have to get back to work. Give my mom a kiss for me and stay out of trouble. And get ready for some serious payback when Jaime and me get home. I'm just kidding you, Pinky. I love you too. No, 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 no. Yeah. Settle down. Ray. You? Ray. It's getting out of control, and I think it's I think it's time. Time? For who? For you, not for me. I only care about me, not about you. These Don Juan-esque adventures, these are the only connection for an old married man to the road not traveled. I'm glad you find it entertaining. Promiscuity is wasted on the single. Yeah? Morning, sir. Hey. We had a report of a domestic disturbance at this location. Domestic disturbance? Uh, no. <laughs> no, there hasn't been any domestic hey, disturbance. Hey, we come in, sir? <laughs> um, yeah. Sure. Hey, uh, Sally. Hey, honey, yeah. baby. Yeah. The, the offices are here about a d domestic disturbance. A domestic <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Disturbance? Morning, it's man. crazy. <laughs> I guess, what, one of the neighbors complained? Oh, it must have been old Mrs. Newton, too. Over. She's always hearing things. She once thought their city's in Mars. Uh, how about you, ma'am? Have you uh, been to Mars lately? Uh, what? Uh, maybe dusting? Have you been dusting today? Have you been smoking? Um, crystal meth. What? Crystal... No, that's... It. Come on, guys. That's Just the it. two of you here, Mr. Gonzalez? It's not Gonzalez, actually. It's, it's Mr. McBride. I mean, Speedy Gonzalez. Speedy? I don't... I don't get it. Uh, your neighbor said she heard what might have been a gunshot or a uh, window breaking. A gunshot or a window breaking? That's cr that's insane. Well, there appears to be a broken window right over there, ma'am. Oh, so that happened two weeks ago. Ma'am, there's still some broken glass on the floor. Oh, you know what? I must have missed a little. <laughs> Sally, come I on. Know. Any firearms in the house, sir? On uh, firearms? No. Mind not. if I look around? Uh, all right. Mm -hmm. It's outside, sir. Nothing. It's nothing. I just maybe a little air out there. Get him! 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 Why do you smoke? It's a story. You want a story? No. I just want you to stop smoking. In Russia, everyone smokes. Little children. Stop hitting your sister, Georgie. Go have a cigarette. In Los Angeles, people don't smoke. It's a good thing. Katrina, I'm a cop. Chances are something else is going to get me before cigarettes do. No, well, it's not just your health. It smells. It makes your breath sour when we kiss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not that that stops me. I'll gargle.
Why don't work. these people keep these drug labs out in the desert where they belong? Good question. Hey, detectives, over here. Hey, that's why I called you guys in. He, he got blown out the back wall. Yeah, most of it burned off, but you can still see some residue. Yeah, tape. Yeah, that's my guess. Same deal on his ankles and on his mouth. Yep. Feet, hands, and mouth all taped. Looks like this might not have been just your average accidental meth lab explosion. His wallet didn't burn through. Mexican national. Pedro Aguilar, state of Sinaloa. You mind if we hold on to this, get it back to you later? Uh, you know, Detective, there's carcinogenic chemicals in some plastics. You might not want to chew it. You might not want to stick your nose in other people's business, man. Don't poke the bear, OK? <laughs> Bear's grumpy today. Hey, you guys might want to check with the RA unit that was here. I think they picked up someone who was injured. All right, thank you. Yeah. When we arrived, there was a guy there unconscious. It was a Mexican kid in his 20s. His hair was singed, and he had this lab coat on. Where is he? Well, we tried to take him to county. You tried? You... She tried. She tried. Yeah, I tried. Look, can you... I'll be right back. Can yeah, you... I'll take care all right. I tried, but halfway there, we stopped at a light. And before I can do anything to stop him, the guy was gone. So do you often just let injured victims just walk away from your truck? Yeah, as much as I can, Fearless. You know, sometimes I just kick him out while we're moving. Fearless quit smoking today. Baby. Don't mind me, all right? Four hours without a cigarette. Oh, and they say the age of miracles had passed. Don't no, push it, Ortiz. Did you get anything else from him? Well, I think he said his name was Pedro. Pedro? You sure? I'm pretty sure he kept yelling it. Why? Hold on a second. Want a medical opinion, detective? Look, you're going through withdrawals, all right? Nicotine is one of the most addictive substances known to man. For some, it's harder to kick than heroin. You might want to try the gum or patch or something. People say they help. Teresa, did he look like this? Yeah, exactly like that. That's him. You sure? Yeah. But well, then we're chasing a ghost. We got this ID off the dead man at the trailer. Of course, he could have been just carrying another man's wallet. Damn. Yeah. Thanks, Teresa. That's it. If we have any other questions, we'll give you a call. OK. One more question. Come in. What's the question? Why are you so beautiful? Joe, you're spending too much time in the chat room, skank master? Get out of my seat. We're running down the owner of the meth lab, Preston Slocum. He's got no priors, no address except for email, so we got a warrant to pull his email address book. That's what the names are, right? So what's that mean? You have a nationwide manhunt for uh, Baby Cake 72 or uh, Bo's Monster? No, Ray. Yeah, let me help you guys out because I am Hose Monster. Ray, come on. Come on, what are you doing? We got 40 screen names trying to get names, real names. You're going to help us out pull up a computer. Otherwise, stop joking. Take your joke somewhere else, man. I am Hose Monster. Jay McBride, 492. I picked up a John McBride this morning. For what? Well, it started off as a domestic disturbance call. And then turned into a rodeo show when Mrs. McBride decided to take Bronco Billy here for an eight second ride. Will you please? They were tweakers. They were smoking some meth. We found pipes and some paraphernalia, but nothing like the weight you'd have in the lab. We couldn't really search. It got All physical. Right. We had All to right. hook them and book them. Ray, where are they now? The McBride's here. Where? Put them in interrogation room one. Excuse us. We need to have a word with your client. Uh, detective, pending an evidentiary hearing, my client has nothing to say. Mr. McBride, is your email address jmcbride492 at yahoo.com? John, you are under no obligation to answer any or all inquiries. We already found out it was from the ISP, sir. <laughs> well, why, then you don't need to ask. Mr. McBride, we need to know about your relationship with a Mr. Preston Slocum. Uh, detective, just because my client has been arrested on some trumped-up charges does not give you the right to go on some fishing expedition. Fishing expedition. He's not talking. OK.
Let's get processing to delay Mr. McBride's departure as long as possible. We're gonna go check out his crib. Looks like McBride's got some visitors. On the dashboard now. Step out of the car. Move your hands. Step out of the car. Get out of the vehicle. Stay right there. Yeah, yeah. You say anything? No, nothing. Yeah, well, I say we head back. Hopefully, McBride hasn't been released yet. We can ask him why he's got a half million dollars worth of methamphetamine in the ceiling of his trailer. Just move it, people. Let's get this yellow tape up around there. Yeah. Yeah, everything is fine down here. We got the nice room. Someone slipped me grass throat. Right here? Right here. He was walking out with his attorney. Slowed his release as long as I could. Where's the attorney now? <sighs> you guess as good as mine. He disappeared. Still got his wife inside? Yeah. Move it, people. OK, over here. Burgess, get CSU over here immediately. OK, hurry. John and I were going to make the big score, get to Mexico. We just wanted to start over, get clean. We, you know, we just wanted to start over. So by big score, you mean you decided to steal Slocum's drugs? Yes. Baby, baby, baby. <laughs> this is it. This is it. All right, time to ride the tsunami, baby. <laughs> uh, okay. I stayed in the car. John went inside. Get the car! Stop the car! You said to keep it in here! We were hiding the drugs when he called. You gotta turn that ringer down, baby. It's not good. Hello? And who called? He did. Who? It's Preston. You tell Johnny I want my drugs. And tell him he should have killed me when he had the chance. So your husband hadn't really killed Slope? Maybe what I do? No. How did you react to that? Um, I guess maybe I was a little bit angry. You want to know how you shoot someone, John? You put the gun on your shirt like this! Are you crazy? And then when the cops showed up, we saw Preston outside. So you saw Slocum outside? It's outside, sir. Nothing. It's nothing. Just maybe a little air out there. Yes, that's why I jumped on the cop and John went after the other guy. We thought being in police custody would keep us safe. That chance. The dead man we found outside the meth lab. Who was that? Must have been one of the Mexican kids Preston had working for him. The two P's, I think he called them. Two P's? Yeah, um, I think it's the for Pedro and um Pedro and what? I, I I don't I can't think of another Mexican name that starts with P. Any idea where we can find him or Preston Slocum? Look, you know what? I I, I think I've helped you all I all I can here. So. Ma'am, we need to find your husband's murderer. I mean, we got to find Preston's look. Don't you understand? I've told you too much already. If I tell you any more, I am dead. I thought he was just this twisted old surfer dude, and then he kills my husband in front of a police station. Apparently, he will stop at nothing. John, what are you doing? Just do as I say, and you two just might live, all right? All right? Good. Don't kill me, Johnny, please. Please, Johnny, don't. Please shut up and tape your ankles, all right, Preston? What did I do? I was good to you, Johnny. I gave you drugs. Dude, I gave you my Dewey Weber. Tape your ankles. Don't, I don't, don't want to die, Preston. I don't want to die. Shut up, Dad. You son of a bitch. You think you can steal my drugs? I knew I shouldn't have surfed with a foul. Ah. Ah. I'll be with you in a minute, Pedro, my man. I smell something kind of gnarly.
You tell Johnny I want my drugs and tell him he should have killed me when he had the chance. Hey, hey John. Hey, easy. That's not my lawyer. Come on, John. That's not, he's not my lawyer. I don't want to talk to him. You do want to talk to me, John. In fact, if you want to get out of here without any worries, you want to talk to me. And if you want Sally to be okay, you want to talk to me very badly. In point of fact, you don't have to talk to him. You don't want to talk to him, I take you back to the cage. No. No, no, no. That's okay. That's okay. All right, turn around. Relax. I'm so sorry. I know. I'm so I'm sorry. Do, I know you You're going to kill me, right? No, You're... I am not going to kill you. No, I know. Yeah, you are. John, You're going to kill me. John, I am not going to kill you. Just tell me where my... Tell me where the material is. It's at my place in the ceiling, right mm -hmm. right, 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 above the, the air conditioning. Good. Good. That's good. Uh, you say, Kobe, you're still going to kill me, right? You're no, John, kill John, me. I am not, not going to kill you. What do you think? I'm some biker? Come on. Dude, we rode Toto Santos together. Huh? Come on, look, he made a stupid ass mistake. It's, it's going to be okay. Excuse us. We need to have a word with your client. Uh, excuse me, uh, detective, uh, pending an evidentiary hearing, my client has nothing to say. Mr. McBride, is your email address jmcbride492 at yahoo.com? Johnny, you are under no obligation to answer any or all inquiries. We already found out it was from the ISP, sir. Well, then you didn't need to ask him. Mr. McBride, we need to know about your relationship with a Mr. Preston Slocum. Uh, detective, just because my client has been arrested on some trumped-up charges does not give you the right to go on some fishing expedition. Fishing expedition? He's not speaking, talking. Okay. Dude, did you hear me? Evidentiary hearing? <laughs> I pulled that one out of my ass! <laughs> God, I'm glad I used to watch Perry Mason when I was a kid. I think I'm gonna throw up. Oh, no, no, shh, don't do that, don't do that. Come on. Yep, it's me. Go to his place, it's in the ceiling. <laughs> Behind the air conditioner. Mm. <laughs> you have any idea how much money a trailer like I had costs? No? Well, go find out. Dude, I want a new one within two weeks. I don't care where you get it, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for not killing me. Hey, hey, don't mention it. What are you doing? Oh, hey. Whoa. Ah. The deceased was a Mr. John McBride. He was brought in this morning on charges stemming from a domestic disturbance. He died minutes after being released from police custody. Do you suspect foul play? Yes, uh, Lauren, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, we do suspect foul play. Mr. McBride's throat was cut right over there behind that yellow tape. Next question. Do the police have any suspects? Uh, no suspects as of yet. We're still trying to locate his lawyer, Mr. Arthur Kesser. Who was the responding officer on the original domestic disturbance call? That would be Ray Heckler. Wasn't Heckler implicated in the Vista Heights police corruption scandal? Well, Lauren, the Vista Heights police corruption investigation is ongoing, so I can't comment on that. But what I can comment on, though, is this. A man was murdered today while on police property, and I'm determined to find out why that happened. Thank you very much. That's all for today. Thank you. Hello? That's all, Sharky. I can't do it tonight. No sparring. Uh, I've got other plans. Can I get a statement? You mentioned Ray Heckler's name in your press conference. Do you actually have anything linking him to McBride's murder? Why would I tell you? Thanks. For the record, I didn't mention Ray's name. I didn't bring it up. You know, David, your little routine with that walking blonde joke from Channel 6 was so transparent, it was breathtaking. Do you suspect foul play? Why, no, Barbie, it was just a really bad shaving accident. You jealous? Of what? That I may be sleeping with her. I mean, there's nothing stopping me now. I am a single man. If you are, 
I suggest you check her ID. I think I have shoes older than her. I'm not sleeping with her. And another thing. You can't go after the cops again. Really? Why not? Because they're going to make your life living hell if you don't have the goods. And that would be different how? You're making a mistake. And you know it. Try and get some background information on the cop from McBride. What's the deal with McBride's lawyer? Why wouldn't he have stuck around if there was... Fearless! What are you doing lurking down here? Usually you lurk upstairs. You got another cigarette? No, I'm fresh out. Oh. In that case, can you give me anything on the McBride murder? Why are you always bothering me? What in the hell is wrong with you? Do I look like I have a big old sign on my chest saying, ask Fearless, he'll tell you anything you want to know? I ain't got no sign like that. And as far as asking me for cigarettes, buy your own. Explains the sunny disposition. Well, it's not the first time. I tried to quit smoking four times this year. But this is the first time I've ever told anybody I was trying to quit. I never even thought of myself as a smoker. I just thought it was something that I did that I could stop doing whenever I felt like it. Yeah. It's like dancing with a bear. At first, it's fun. And then you want to sit down. Problem is, the bear wants to keep dancing. I got to go. And go, you must. black eye and you lost your car an innocent man gets pulled in no 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 a speed freak he gets pulled in by police for having a tiff with his wife no he and his wife were arrested for assaulting police officers there's a difference he ends up dead out in front of central now this is a case i thought you'd love case no this is a dog and you know it you just want to embarrass a chief you say that like it's a bad thing <laughs> look as a prosecutor i need to have a good relationship with the police a year ago, you said if I handled Vista Heights, I wouldn't have to go after the police again. First, you didn't handle Vista Heights unless you got a conviction I didn't hear of. And second, last year, I thought you were a team player. And since then, you've disobeyed me. You beat the crap out of my biggest donor. Now, David, this is decidedly unteam-like behavior. I don't want to go after Heckler. I don't. You become pals? Well, hardly. But he didn't have anything to do with McBride, and you know it. McBride assaulted him. You think Ray Heckler's going to jab some speed freak in the throat because the guy took a swing at him? Come on. Heckler is a name people recognize. It's a way to remind them of Vista Heights. Uh... Huh. And further embarrass the chief. Ah, that's the David I remember. Uh, I gotta go. Hey, how's Marion? She's fine. Yeah, she's a pistol. Yeah. You gotta keep her. Say hello to her for me. Yeah, will do. The Vista Heights police corruption investigation is ongoing, so I can't comment on that. What I can comment on, though, is this. A man was killed today while on police property, and I'm determined to find out why that happened. I thought I smelled something bad. Another round, please. You gotta come stink up our station house. Now you're gonna come here and stink up our bar too? Evening, Officer Heckler. Unreal to believe. You're gonna sit here in my bar. Oh. It's a free country, isn't it, Ray? It's only free if you can pay. Hey, Dave, how you doing? Good. Oh. I came into a cop bar. Yeah. What happens in here stays in here. You gonna give me another round or what? Jamie, Mr. McNorris is just leaving. Well, no, Jamie, Mr. McNorris is still drinking. McNorris, you finish that beer. You might get what you need. Did you not hear the man? Oh, I think he hears just fine, Ray. Well, why aren't you walking then? You need help walking? You don't want to touch me, I can believe me. Oh, you, you got that, right? Anybody got a 10-foot pole? Anytime you want to throw, Ray, we can throw. Just start swinging, I'll catch you up. 
Oh, now you're a tough guy. Earlier, you weasel around and associate my name with the murder, but now, now when there are no cameras around, now you want to duke it out. You're dirty, Ray. You know it, and I know it. Hey, I put the finger on McBride's killer this afternoon. Of course, that didn't make it into the news cycle. But maybe tomorrow you'll have a news conference. You'll clear my name. Clear it? Clear it of what, Mr. Heights? Hey, thanks to you, my wife's got to go around here in whispers. No, thanks to you, your wife's got to go around here in whispers. Well, at least I still got a wife. <laughs> what, you think I didn't know? We all know. Because good news travels fast. Officer Ray Heckler. Wasn't Heckler implicated in the uh, Vista Heights police corruption scandal? Well, Lauren, the Vista Heights police corruption investigation is ongoing, so I can't comment on that. What I can comment on, though, is this. A man was murdered today while on police property, and I'm determined to find out why that happened. Thank you very much. That's all for today. We'll be back for breaking news on this story and others in just a moment. Preston Slocum is a fictitious name, as is Arthur Kester, the name given to us by the man who bailed out McBride, posed as his lawyer, and in all likelihood stabbed him in the throat. Based on the description we got from Sally McBride, we have every reason to believe that Slocum and Kester are the same person. So that was Slocum we talked to? Yeah, we think so. So he just kills McBride the second he gets him out of here? He doesn't wait till he gets him someplace more private? Well, that's what it looks like, Tom, but maybe you can ask him yourself when we find him. All right, what about McBride's wife? Doesn't she know where Slocum lives? Well, she doesn't want to help us anymore. She's afraid that if she does, she may get popped, too. Now, we're holding her down in one, but she's waiting to talk to her lawyer. All right, you've all been handed a list of the names we got from Slocum's email. Mrs. McBride? Yeah. I'm not talking. Oh, no, I didn't come here for that. I came to offer my condolences and uh, maybe offer something else, too. You recognize my name? Heckler? Not from earlier? No, no, from, uh, from TV, from the news. You ever hear of the Vista Heights police corruption scandal? I don't watch the news. Well, it's a long story, but, uh, basically there were these, these phony drug busts in Vista Heights and phony payoffs to phony informants. My partner back then, he got linked to it, and by association, so did I. I could never prove anything, but uh, they're still looking for the money. And the stink lingers, you know. Thing is, when you're accused of being a dirty cop, you start thinking, maybe I am, you know? Maybe, uh, maybe I could be. <sighs> not uh, dirty, dirty, not all the way, but uh, a little gray, perhaps? You know, maybe I'm not using that gray area as much as I could be. So that's what I'm doing here now. Here to offer you a little, uh, a little gray. All you need to do, give me a street name, some numbers. I'm not helping you anymore. Well, you give me a street name, and a number, and I'll give you this. Oh, there's nobody watching. There's nobody in observation. That smoke detector, that doesn't work either. Hasn't worked for months. You give me a name and a number, and I'll give you this. And I'll stand up, turn my back, and you do what you gotta do. And we'll be 
all squared away. Preston lives in the same trailer park we do. That's how we know him. Uh, he's in the last row. Uh, his is the one with the surf stuff on the outside. Uh, he goes by the name of Burnham. What is this? It's rock candy. Knife in the wall, knife in the throat. Same guy that killed McBride? Looks like it. I'll call the me-wagon. All right. Yeah, but who'd want to kill them both? One person I can think of. The only other person who survived the explosion. The Mexican kid. Yep, the Mexican kid. I didn't know. Should have tried harder. Thanks for not killing me, all right? Eh, yeah, don't mention it. <laughs> what are you doing here? Hey. Ah. Knocked out in an explosion. Do you remember? Pedro. Is that your name? Pedro's not. You're, you're gonna have to lie down, Pedro. I said you're gonna have to lie down. Do you remember what happened? No. No. You might have a concussion. You get through? Yeah, but Mama wasn't there. I talked to Pinky, though. I told her we'd be home soon. Not soon enough. Hey, look at it this way. Once we get done with this, we'll never have to work another day in our lives. <sighs> All these chemicals will be lucky to get many more days in our lives. Mr. Sunshine. I'm going outside. Are you complaining about these chemicals? Now you're going to go outside and smoke a cigarette? What can I say? I'm a stupid man. I take after my older brother. Your older, wiser brother? Yeah, 12 minutes makes you a lot wiser. Here. Have an apple instead. Thank you.
but who'd want to kill them both? One person I can think of. The only other survivor of the explosion. The Mexican kid? Yep, the Mexican kid. It's Pedro, right? No, not Pedro. Come back. Not Pedro, the other... The other P. What? Hold on. Sally McBride said that Slocum had two Mexican kids working for him, right? Called him the P's. And Teresa said the kid that she picked up kept yelling, Pedro, Pedro. Then she ID'd him from the driver's license we got off the dead guy. So maybe Pedro was dead and the other guy was his brother. Identical twins. Two peas in a pod. Because of you, my wife's got to go around hearing whispers. No, thanks to you, your wife's got to go around hearing whispers. At least I still got a wife. What, you think I didn't know? Everybody you know. You know why? Because good news travels fast. From Boston. Get up, you jerk! I'll paint the hey, walls hey, hey, with hey, you. Hey, I got this, Joel. No, you don't got this. It's all right, Tom. Take your partner. Give him a beer. Settle down, okay? Come on, Joel. Wouldn't you like to see Ray's paint? Maybe one wall with him. He's drunk. All right. Listen, you want to fight? You can get a fight. If not, I suggest you go home. All right? You think I come here to fight? Now that will be insane. Come on, go home. Good night, Ray. I'll give him five blocks. Rest them for DUI. Yeah, good. Norris! Heckler said you might have found the guy who killed McBride. He said that? Yeah. He's half right. He's a Mexican national by the name of Jaime Aguilar. Killed the guys he felt responsible for the death of his brother Pedro. Son of a bitch. He's probably in Mexico by now. Catch any of that, counselor? Yeah. Yeah, I'm catching every word you're saying. Yeah, I'm sure you are. It's gonna be a pretty nasty shiner. You broke the skin. Deserve it. You or the stool? The stool, that son of a bitch. I was sitting there all night not saying a word. I should have snapped his legs right off. You know how funny I am when I'm hammered. I'm hammered. Yeah. Yeah. Question for you. Have you ever strayed from your marriage? You know, a little something on the side. A little, I was a big chat. Of course not. You're like, you're a good guy. You're like an Eagle Scout. You know what I mean? You probably never even look at other women, do you? Yeah, good for you. Good for you. All right, well, if we have any more questions, we'll give you a call, okay? On the other hand, did. It, it, it isn't even about the hoi hoi. You know, it, it was great. But, you know, it's like, you know, it's like I, I was with my wife one day and we're sitting in the car and we're at the stoplight, right? And this guy walks by, this handsome bastard, like this, you know, kind of model type. And he's staring at my wife. And, and, and I go, honey, look, this guy's checking you out. And she says, no, he's not. He just wants me to look at him. I understood. It's just that eye contact. I could give you a hundred reasons why I cheated on my wife, like this girl was my soulmate, or that she, she knew me, she understood me. It's a bunch of crap. It was all about that click. I'm probably full of crap, aren't I? I just probably wanted somebody to want me, I guess. 